Errol Spence Jr. Thank you, man down. Spence CG, I know what time it is, baby. 28 pounds since. Oh, that big margin. Oh. Just delivering some uppercuts and some left hands that are bothering your... He's going to rearrange your face. Listen, this man is not just going in here and winning fights. This man is putting people in the hospital. Ugas was in the hospital. Kel Brooks yeah, went into the hospital. Did you see that face? The truth. Errol yeah. Jr. Terrence Crawford. Who number one in the welterweight division now? They have a claim to the throne of one of boxing's glamour divisions. They're still undefeated and have been the talk of boxing fans, even dividing boxing fans when asked this simple question. If the truth Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Butt Crawford would face each other in the ring right now for all of the titles and welterweight glory, who would win? That's a 50-50 fight. There's two young guys in their prime, extremely strong, Spence has a slightly different style. Terrence has his style, but the mentality is the same. They're not trying to take a backward step. They're not trying to give up no ground. And both fighters genuinely believe they can beat the other person. Hey, Ringsiders, what is going on? This is your host, Boxing Subjective Observer, and welcome back to Ringside Stories. Feel free to subscribe, thumbs up, and hit that notification bell for the latest day on Ringside Stories. Thanks so much for your support in advance, and welcome to the channel. Errol Spence Jr. lays claim as the top dog in the 147-pound division, coming fresh off a win over Jordanes Ugas, adding the WBA super title to his WBC and IBF World Welterweight straps. Everybody know who I want next. I want Terry Crawford next. That's the fight that I want. That's the fight everybody else wants. Like I said, I'm gonna get these straps and I'm gonna go over there and take it too. A call out that will ring bells to those who cherish the sport of boxing. It's I, I really don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about Perfect. it. Perfect. All right. Well, yeah, some fights we shouldn't try to predict. Some fights we shouldn't try to have or create these expectations. Some fights that we know are great, we should just allow those fights to be great and enjoy them and then talk about them afterwards. That's why you're here in boxing, right? Because the people, for the people, fight for the people, fight for you. And when the people want to see one fight, it's important. I think Spence, he got the work rate, he got the power. He's the naturally bigger man. He's a naturally stronger man. Now, Crawford can box. He can box, beautiful boxer. I hate to go against him, but I just think Spence is the, Spence got this one. I think I said 11 round to my buddy. I said 11 round, I'm going to Terrence Crawford knockout. I just think that uh, he just has more, he has more more to him, man. You know, switch out ball, right-handed, hit punch. Uh, supreme accuracy and timing. I know Spence, he's a, he's a machine. He comes forward, he's, he has high volume, and he can isolate a lot of the stuff with his volume, but Crawford, that's that's my guy. I'm, I'm gonna stick I'm gonna stick with Crawford. Earl, not coming in to lay down. He's, he's a competitive fighter. Uh, boxing is in good hands, and I feel like that fight need to happen next. Errol Spence Jr.'s most notable wins. Other than a few fights north from 147 in Errol Spence's early career, the truth is a career welterweight who won his first world title in May of 2017 when he went overseas to beat Kell Brook, who at that time was an undefeated world welterweight champion. Ever since the Brook fight, Spence has successfully defended his world title six times, including two unification bouts. First against Showtime Sean Porter, which Errol Spence Jr. won by a close split decision, and Spence just successfully unified against Money Puck Yao conqueror Cuban Jordanes Ugas in what was a dominant display and victory for the truth. Terence Crawford's most notable wins. Terence Crawford is a three-weight world champion who held the Lineal and Ring Magazine title in two of these divisions and at the division just below 147 but was the undisputed world champion. Elevated as the WBO's mandatory challenger, Terence Crawford was granted a shot at then welterweight champion Jeff Horn in the summer of 2018 with surgical precision but dismantled the tough yet undefeated Australian who beat legend Manny Pacquiao. So far, Terence Crawford has made five 
defenses of his WBO World Championship, including a win over a former two-time 140-pound world champion Amir Khan, former IBF welterweight world champion Kel Brook, who at that time Crawford fought him, already had lost to both Gennady Golovkin and Errol Spence Jr., suffering career-threatening injuries, still got beaten comprehensively in a way that, for example, Errol Spence couldn't. And Terence Crawford recorded his best win at welterweight in late November of 2021, stopping another common Spence opponent in Sean Porter. Not only did he answer many questions, but also pushed the envelope for a potential fight with Errol Spence Jr., who sat ringside. Errol Spence was right there watching this fight. As soon as this stoppage happened, he walked out. What was your message to Errol Spence tonight? He was at my fight? Yeah. Now that boy said he wasn't gonna never be at my fights, but now he at my fights. Bob couldn't secure me the Spence fight when I was with him. So how are you going to secure me the Spence fight when I'm not with him? So I'm moving forward with my career right now, and I wish everybody the best. Try to get the proper fight done. So that's the main priority, that's the main goal. Harold Spence Jr.'s attributes. What was the extent of your injuries as far as your facial injuries, your teeth, everything? Um, my rib was just sore, like my whole body was just sore, you know, it was just a, you know, I guess a miracle from God. And, um, you know, he really protected me during an accident because, I mean, anybody else would probably have been killed. So, you know, it was just a blessing from God. Terrence Crawford's attributes. And Kenny Bennett doesn't bother to count, he's knocked out. You could see it coming because the legs weren't there for Andre George's big shot finished the fight. Terrence Crawford. Crawford is another guy you're going to see a lot more of. Knocks him out in the fifth round after winning every single round of the fight. Historical significance. The 147 pound division has a long history of the finest fighters boxing has ever bred. The previous era saw Floyd Mayweather Jr. as the consensus best of his generation, outpointing eight weight world champion Manny Pacquiao. Regardless of how big both fighters are, regardless of the fact both fighters are all time greats, Pac Man and Money May have never been undisputed. In fact, the last undisputed welterweight champion of the world was Zab Judah, who defended his welterweight crown once before losing all of his belts in 2006. What followed was a generation with many welterweight talents from around the world, including Miguel Angel Cotto and Sugar Shane Mosley, who were elite fighters at 147 and Hall of Famers. Yet like Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Manny Pacquiao were never undisputed. And so fast forward to 2022, without any of the sanctioning bodies calling for any immediate mandatory challengers, without any major promotional or TV network issues, even years after stirring the pot, initially Errol Spence Jr. and Terence Crawford find themselves in a unique situation where both fighters are still undefeated world welterweight champions both fighters seem to want the fight with all of the four major world titles, the Lanil Ring Magazine world title, plus the historical significance of the first undisputed welterweight world champion in the four bell era in play. But as with every major fight for undisputed, there's always a small window of opportunity to get the actual fight over the line. It is the division's biggest fight to make, which makes the most sense for both fighters since everyone seems to want the fight. So if the fight for the undisputed welterweight world champion championship happens next between the truth Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Bud Crawford who are you picking let us know in the comments below 
If you enjoy content like this and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. It helps out the channel a lot, i.e. inspire us to make more quality content for y'all. As always, thank you so much for your support in advance and welcome to Ringside Stories. Now, if you've done that already, you're amazing. You already know that you are the true undisputed world champion. Till next time, Ringsiders, this is your host, Boxing's Objective Observer with Ringside Stories. Thanks for watching and have a legendary day. Hey!